It looks really dodgy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just rearranging myself on the sofa. Kia ora. Welcome to Knit and Not by the Sea. My name is Catherine. My pronouns are she, her. And we are in Victoria's Fare. Kia ora. My name is Victoria. My pronouns are also she and her. Welcome to my Fare. And also, can we just say, I've been up since 4.30 this morning. I'm actually quite sleepy. <gasps> And she's going out tonight, and she looks spectacular. I do look spectacular. Can you stand up and show them your okay. belty back? The reason I've showered. <laughs> the reason she's clean. Yeah. I did my chin hairs. I also had neck hairs. It is not on. Not mm, on. It's a very important 51. Event. Look, she looks, you look amazing. This is my, um, this is a, a kurta from India. It's orange. It's coming out muted. It is it's not. It's not. It's bright orange. And it's this fantastic. is my tokayal or cintas from guatemala that i just bought on at auction and i'm wearing because i don't think anyone from the university watches this i'm going to my boss's house for dinner i don't i don't do social so this is my armor yeah you <laughs> people think i dress like this because because it's like oh she likes to draw attention no it's, it's my armor it's protection <laughs> and anyway. your earrings are watermelon oh, they're very me <sighs> heavy earrings. it's fantastic what do watermelons have to do with free Palestine other than just, you know, free Palestine? I was just saying to a friend, it's really disappointing when people don't know what the, what the watermelons mean. And then I come to Victoria's house. Okay, well, I'm very disappointing, <laughs> but I am open to learning. I can't be bothered. Anyway, anyway. free Palestine. Um, so, <sighs> still alone. Martin's coming home tomorrow. But from Dancy's pass, so he's actually just knackered. He's not fancied up and knackered. <laughs> he's just knackered. knackered. <laughs> but he has been able to phone me, so that's been really good. Excellent. Um, what else has happened? We haven't filmed, and it hasn't been my fault. You're just very. It's social. been me. I've had a crazy busy couple of weeks, so. The thing where I didn't out. do well is I didn't film in Spanish after the last one in English. I was too tired. Yeah. Because age. Catches up. Um, so. Shenanigans. Shenanigans. What have you been up to? I mean, in fact, it'll be news to me because I'm going to get some book out. I have like, to get my book out to remember what I've been If doing. I've done it, it's in the book. Yeah. And apparently... My, did you take my thing? No. I haven't taken your thing. Apparently, Victoria thinks I'm a grown-up and I can drink out of a unicorn cup. Yeah. This is a really wide rim, so it's like... I can get you another cup if no, you want to complain okay. about the cup. And also, it's going to end up full of lipstick. That's cool. But I like the messaging. Yeah. So I'll take it for the messaging. Maybe I'll clean my cup after because it's going to end up a mess. <laughs> okay, so what okay. can you share as, uh, of your life? I am oh my a medal winning athlete, people. Look at this. That is silver. And an actual medal for the 2004 Masters game. So what did you achieve? So we went, so this was for the Twilight 400 and this is over two evenings. Four events over two evenings, and each event's worth 100 points. I mean, the, add the total. Oh, so not 400 metres or anything? No, God, no. Okay, okay. So, this is temp and bowling. This is small ball rifle shooting. This is curling. And this Curling, is you remembered. You I remembered. did remember. I did remember. And this is darts. And I came second oh, in my age group. I'm darts. I was really good. <laughs> I won in my group. <laughs> Catherine, ask me how many people were in my age group. Oh. <laughs> I have something to say about this though. So how many people are in your age group? Two. Two. Okay, no, can I just say that I was talking to a friend who went to the A and P show. Yes. With their apricot something. I don't know if it was a jam or just actual apricots or whatever. They won first prize, but they were like there was only one entry and they were like, ooh. I so actually two people in my craft group said that they had entered items, not this year, but in previous years, and they were the only entry, and they came third. Oh. Which is rude. It is rude. It is rude. It is rude. So. It's like good, but not good enough, even though you're the only entry. No. Yeah, that's this catty. But anyway, so, you know, even with two people. Yeah. Great. Well done. Silver. So, so, I did three events and got one medal. Very good. Because there were five people in the 10K walk, and I came last. So, I'm more I'm interested tempted. in... You did four events, which are hilarious. I just love the fact that I have a friend that does darts because I'm having all the historical connotations. I had never done darts. Well, I would throw on darts at a dartboard in the office once, but that's about it. Okay, so now I'm thinking that maybe in New Zealand you have different connotations because in England, 
although it was a sport, mm. it was always large men with big beer guts and the pint. That is dust. Oh, yes, it's very, very much. Is it like There's that? a bar and Because the... they, they try to clean up their act as, as a sport. <laughs> sport. Oh, I thought... I, from so what I know say of... people say darts, it's hilarious to me. What I know of competitive darts, which is, you know, very little, is it's very much dressing up, getting drunk and throwing darts, right? I, don't, I mean, I, I don't know the details. My sister-in-law actually plays darts, which, of course, we think is hilarious. But my, my, my big interest is you did four things that I don't think you've done before. No. Uh, Are these going to become a new I had done ten pin bowling before. Okay. Um, ten pin bowling's expenny, though. It was expenny. Yeah. I'd only done, you know, taking the kids. Uh, no. <laughs> no. I also did cornhole separate to another two separate events. I did cornhole. No medal, though. No medal. There are lots of people in. Disappointing. We, we did not do well. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, 10k walk. But this one was a bit of fun. And I, I got applaud you because you make an effort. It was really fun. It was the friend I usually do park run with. She and I did a lot of things. It was fun. I think if you have a friend that makes you, yes. that, that always, like, that's really encouraging and yeah. motivating. Yeah. Thankfully, I Would don't like... have a friend that makes me. So that's fantastic <laughs> for me. <laughs> always next year no i would not okay so that was sorry i'm having to look at why all the reasons i haven't stitched in the last three weeks work uh, it was actually work you told me oh yeah it's a lot of work um i went to watch my friend in the puzzle racing she said she was, was going to take her pub pe- no her no piece. i did and i did i did some work oh, there good so i was the weirdo who was sitting in the back stitching while watching a friend do a puzzle i think you were just making the most of your time <laughs> yep and then i was early to bed we've had meetings <laughs> that thing early to bed early to bed i was that's tired early activity. to bed yeah but that's not an activity i'm putting my calendar early to bed. Oh, i was like no stitching because it was early to bed <laughs> <laughs> work no stitching and then dinner out with family last night at Etrusco, which is an Italian restaurant, and it was very nice. Nice. Etrusco is nice. Yeah. What have I done? What have you been up to? Oh my god, have I been made permanent since we last filmed, or not? I don't think you have. I'm now a per- permanent head of corporate records. <laughs> Maybe it is, because I did... Did I, did I not tell you about the artwork that I bought? Did I not mention this here? I bought two did pieces of artwork. Did I just visit artwork. you? Because I don't... I don't think you showed the art last time, did you? Or maybe you referenced it. No, well, I didn't show it because that's a bit like, oh, look at my art. Uh-huh. Um, anyway, so maybe I have been made permanent, but, you know, let's keep the excitement going. Yeah, it's very exciting. Um, and then after that, a so-called friend tells me about Webb's Auction House um, in Auckland. Mm. And she's like, you might be interested in these textiles. Hence, Guatemalan um, oh. thingy. And amazing Peruvian yeah. Also, can I just say this must have, this was called the lifetime collection of blah 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 some person, and they were a linguist and a and a collector of many things. They had mm-hmm. amazing things, and a bigger budget than me because <laughs> this is pristine. <laughs> I I buy. I, I was going to say you bought through some taste, things. Through, I bought these two. Yeah. Through taste, I I like things with like a history, so I don't look for new yeah. or perfect. I think that's amazing. It's gorgeous. But I mean, you've bought, like, you've bought some of these back from Guatemala last time, didn't no, you? No, these are Peruvian. Peru, last time. Yeah. Not last time, all the yeah, time Yeah, yeah, I've got, I've, every time I go to Peru, I try and buy one or two. So Beautiful. the last time, because we left in a rush, I just bought two. Yeah. Which prompted Martin to say, don't we already have some of those? <laughs> <laughs> and he said this time, like, don't we have some in this colour already? I said, no, we don't. It's more orange. This is pink here. Yeah, this is quite pink. It's beautiful. And uh, when I was talking about it, I thought it didn't have a join. It totally has a join, but it's so subtle. It's very Ooh, good. Oh, yeah, I've seen some of your other joins. Anyway. Ones with joins, and they're a little bit more um, obvious. They're visible, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But the, the interesting thing is that I was, I was just... Uh, no, I'm lying. I'm lying to you. My excuse was I had to rescue them because they were Peruvian and Guatemalan, and they might, people might not know, and they might not buy them, and then that would be really sad. Mm-hmm. Um, so I did very cheeky offers below the expected thingy and i didn't think i'd won any I, I went to my craft group i forgot to bid went to my craft group remembered in my craft group came back and then i the auction was live so i was able to put in my office and then the following morning it was two emails so you have won two auctions so i was like oh, well god. done oh god i um, bid on three things in the latest um haywards auction and got none of them well i think see this is Apparently, Webbs is like the premier auction house in New Zealand. Yeah. So, 
you're going to get the creme de la creme, but also just to let you know, mm. this was only a hundred dollars. Wow. Yeah, it was a cheeky offer. Because I was like, if people offer more than a hundred dollars, this is New Zealand, if people offer more than a hundred dollars, they know how much they would pay for in Peru and that means they care and they value it. Yeah. And that's okay. Because I'll I'll yeah. buy it from indigenous people and I yeah. prefer to do that. Mm -hmm. um, and this one was a hundred dollars. So th those were my cheeky offers. Yeah, you did very well. I did um there was a wheat bill which was amazing um, and that would cost me a thousand dollars new um, but that went for I think three hundred dollars and I was like that's good someone valued it yeah but it was a, it was one of those stunning ones which mm. it was just not the fortnight to be spending a lot of money anyway this is just so beautiful but it also described it as pink background with embroidery this is not embroidered this is woven <sighs> You'd think that being a premier auction house that deals in this sort of thing, they would... So this so-called friend that's making me spend my money said, I don't think they have a textile expert. Uh, They've got a ceramics expert and like yeah. um, other things, but this is so stunning. I love it. It's beautiful. I've been, go I've been um, nerding out on how to do like textile conservation. I'm thinking of doing a postgrad bit of study. But this sounds like fun postgrad bit of oh, study as opposed to wanky MBA bit of postgrad study. She just said wanky. <laughs> <laughs> this is for my grandchildren if I ever have any. Oh. This is how mother spoke. Hi! <laughs> I'm mother's um, friend. <laughs> I think what it is is that I'm bored. I was talking to a friend. I am certain I have ADHD. Um, and I feel like... You remember when I first got the job as mm -hmm. head of corporate records? I was kind of panicked for a month. Mm -hmm. Then I was excited for three months and then I was bored. Yes. I'm bored. And so I'm kind of like, how can I make my life more complicated? So I've been, I've been looking at postgrads in anthropology. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, what about, what about postgrad in textile conservation? And or, or mm -hmm. traveling to Peru, Guatemala or Mexico to do like month long courses. So not a master's or a postgrad. But, amazing. So anyway, I texted Martin and I said, we're going to live in Guatemala. Oh, yes. And, and he said, okay. Aww. So cute. We're not going to. But anyway, um, I'm so lucky that I get to have these amazing things. Aww. So anyway, and I dressed myself with my um, Guatemalan thing, which is supposed to be a headpiece. Um, but, so, but I won't do that because I'm not an indigenous person from Guatemala, so I don't think that. How would they wear it as a Is it like they would drape it over and wear it down? No. So the red one that I have at home, the one that's hanging, mm -hmm. that gets rolled up well, in their hair and then it gets rolled up like a pancake. Oh, okay. And, and so I thought this was the same, but I was look, looking at videos and they roll it up like a donut. They get their hair and then mm -hmm. they roll it up and it ends up looking like a donut piece. And then these two, what well, tassels? Yep. Are they called tassels? Yes. The tassels end up at the back. Ah, I mean, gorgeous. And, and they look so beautiful. But I'm not going to do that. My hair's not long enough, I think, anyway. And also, I think it crosses a line as far as where I live in New Zealand. Yep. And also, I think there is a there is a fine line between um, admiring textiles. I think if I if I did that, it would look like I was I was creating a caricature. Yeah. Yep. Um, just because we live in New Zealand, it's a completely different mm -hmm. culture. But wearing it as a belt sort of, I think, just denotes that I'm excited about textiles. Yeah. So I'm going with that. Good job. It continues to rain. What else has happened? Well, Sofita is coming home. She resigned from her job. Have I not told you? No, you told me she was thinking, not enjoying it terribly much. Well, the working conditions were not good. It's not a nice firm to work for. Oh. Um, but I'm actually quite pleased because she was in two minds about Australia, New Zealand. She wants, she really wants to be in, in Auckland. So if you're a lawyer, criminal law, Auckland, that's where she wants to be. She qualifies in July. Just saying. <laughs> um, I, I've just said to her, it's such a good life skill to know. The same thing happened to Christina in, in yeah. Wales. Like, you have to understand your value as a human. If they're not treating you right, walk away. Yeah. You know? So I'm really glad that she did that because she's so career focused. It could have gone either way. But no, she was super sensible. So. Oh, good on her. And she's coming home on Tuesday. Yay! That's not, so she's coming to stay with you? Or she's, stay in Dunedin? No, she's coming to Wellington on Monday. Then she's coming to Dunedin. No, she's staying in our house. Um, she's got to ponder because she applied for a job not 
law, just an admin job until she qualified, mm. almost 700 people had applied. Mm. She said, I think I'm just going to come home and live rent-free for a bit, Mum. I was like, fantastic. Yeah. Yep. So that's that. Um, Could she find something um, in Dunedin or even tutoring? She doesn't want to or, live in Dunedin. I know, but temporarily while she, like if there's 700 people applying for one job. But I don't know what she'll do. Mm. We'll see. We'll see. Um, anyway, so that's that. I am going to Sydney. Oh my God, this is hilarious. So I'm going to Sydney on Sunday. <laughs> I'm going to meet an internet friend. Oh, yes. I'm very excited about it. Excellent. I told Sophia. I, I haven't told Christina. She, I've met her through Floss Tube. <laughs> Hi, Kate. <laughs> but I told Sophia and she gave me a look. She said I was immature because I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> it's great. I think it's great, but she, she didn't think it was like dodgy, but she just she thought I was immature because I was gleeful. <laughs> it's, you're doing what the youth do. You're meeting people online. And... I know. <gasps> So I'm very excited about that, but I'm very excited about spending a week with Christina. That's fantastic. It's going to be lovely and fabulous and stuff like that. And that's it, really. I haven't been sociable, unlike some people. <laughs> oh. I've been resting. I've been resting. The, the, the protests are, are, were cancelled last week and the... Why were they cancelled last week? Uh, no, no, the protest was not cancelled last week. I was not feeling up to go into the protest last week, so I didn't go. This week is not on because there's a different event, which obviously is going to be rained. Yeah. It's not a, a nice day. Yeah, um, it's very weak. But they're doing a, they're showing a, a film about um, Palestine, about, I think about the, the oppression. Um, and I know everything about the oppression, so I don't want to watch another film about it. I thought, no, I'm going to take another weekend to yeah. re, re, re-energize myself. Um, I think that's it. My friend gave me these earrings I think they have um Carmen Miranda vibes which is really sad because I keep mentioning it to New Zealanders and they have no clue what I'm saying but I mentioned it to my my American friend and she was like oh my god yes (laughs) so American viewers Carmen Miranda yeah (laughs) wasn't she a model in the no no I think she was a singer she was a singer and a dancer but you might have seen like vintage posters yeah yeah she used to have her hair all it was like a turban with with fruit yes yes (laughs) it was a fruit um, they're beautiful earrings. They are a statement, right? So, Victoria, now yes. that I've regained my patience. Sure. Israel forbade the, the use of Palestinian flags in Palestine. So, the Palestinian flags are these colours. Black, white, green and red. So, um, this is one of the symbols. Excellent. Uh, another symbol that is sort of appearing, because um, one of their poets that I follow suggested it is the strawberry for Gaza because of the Palestinian poet that was murdered. So I'll show you later why I'm excited about a gift that I was given. Anyway, it's now 18 minutes. Right, done let's fashion. do this because you actually have to leave at five. I have to leave at five. And it's 3.44 and we can talk. We can talk in our life. I've only done two projects, so there's nothing to oh. talk about. Anyway, so any FOs? Yes. Oh my Lord. I'm oh, sorry, any FFOs? No. F- okay, so just FOs just in your pretty tin. In my pretty tin. Well, you might not have shown people. Very on point, because you're doing a bunny and this has got a bunny. So I bought this tin in a gift shop in Oweka because I'm just looking for interesting things to be able to house certain projects and things that, you know, branching out. Excuses for prettiness. Yeah. And so then here's just threads and the bits and pieces. So this is my Marie Tolbert. No, I think I've shown you guys this one already. That's the bird all finished. Is she the woman that has lots of tutorials on YouTubes? Uh, on online? I don't think so. No, okay. And I finished the second one. I finished the bunny. Aww. It's really cute. They are adorable. I'm very pleased with them. So those two are done, and now I'm, I'm on to my main pieces. Are these exams? So are these... these are the samplers. These are the bonus pieces. So are you going to keep them as, as like that, displayed as little... No, I think I'll get them... I don't know whether I'll turn them into like the lid of a box or whether I'll actually get them framed and put them on a wall or I'll do something with them. Because I, I do like the look of, you know, if you finish them nicely at the back. Because that, that yeah. whole... Yeah, they could just stay in a... Like I could center them you up a little bit them, better. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very pretty. But the thing is that because they are 3D, dust could be a problem. Dust could be a problem, yeah. But I could get them behind some glass, you know, like a shadow box or something. Yeah. So that's cool. Very nice. Those are my EFOs. So, does that mean that you got to the point you needed to get to? No. no. It means I finished this and I can now start on my actual pieces and the actual pieces need to be finished. By tomorrow. The next class is in April. <laughs> April, okay. Early April. But we have Easter at the end of 
March and I'm holding out a lot of hope that I can get quite a bit of work done then. <laughs> Fame of last words. I know, but I'm not going to stress if I don't get them finished. It's, it's sailor V. Oh, good. So yeah. she, yeah. Do, you know, doing the oh. nervous. <laughs> yeah, very good. Um, so any other FOs? No, just that. Okay, I don't think I have any FOs. I'm pretty certain. I do not have any FOs. So, whips. I've got whips. So, we'll start with pub. Dun, dun, dun. So everyone should be familiar with the pub, which is a, a peacock, a unicorn, Love. and a badger by the Scarlet Letter. That's the picture of what it will look like. Finished. And this is very much my travel piece, so I pull it out and do it when I have got... When I'm travelling. Travelling or <laughs> going to various things. And all I've done more green, essentially. Very I'm good. I'm sure, sure you're thrilled to see. I've done... I've got a lot of green around here, around the birdie. But she's coming along nicely. Love this one. Very nice. If you're arming an arm, go for it. This has been one of my favourite stitches I've ever done. Well, save up and then go for it. It's not, it, it's it's not, not it's the not cheapest cheap. one. No. <laughs> and this is DMC on 40 count, I think. So that's my pub coming along Very nicely. Good. Very good. Um, what have I done? I have made quite a bit of progress, I feel, for me, on my Consider the Lilies piece. Ooh, which I love. It's, it's a riot of colour. It's gorgeous. I do love it. So this is my political piece that says stop criminalizing social protest. Look at my ironing. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> but I have, oh, I have finished my weird ass angels. I love your weird ass angels. I made them they brown look, skinned, which I love. Look at the faces. I didn't oh, change the faces. They, were just, um, they remind me of the, the Timaru Christmas Angels. Are you familiar with the Timaru Christmas Angels? I am not familiar with the Timaru Christmas Angels. Oh. So Timaru is a city in New Zealand. Timaru is a city and they have these great big angels that they hang between the street, over the street, between the, um, yeah. like either on the power poles, between the street lights. And they've been there for as long as I can remember. And we go to different. And they're weird. My grandparents have lived in Timaru and maybe 10 or 15 years ago they got repainted. And their makeup is so bright. So we call them the slutty angels now because they look. Do you know? You look at her and she seems so like you know ladylike, and oh. so things that come out of this lady's mouth. <laughs> but they're great. Yes, yeah, so but really... they're in this sort of um, position, so that's why they're right. Okay. Me. Yes, and I'm um, also. Can I just say, um, so many um, design changes. <laughs> We're going to call them design changes because I'm not counting. I just kind of throw my needle. At a gap, I'm like, that'll fit. <laughs> and so I started the angel, and I was like, oh, that's not gonna fit. So now, which one is okay? So the trumpet is not supposed to be that far from her face. <laughs> oh, she looks great. But I was like, oh, okay, so the trumpet needs to. The, no, it's not the trumpet that's the problem, it's the hand. The hand can't be nearer the, the, uh -huh. the, the, the cone, yeah. it has to be further out. <laughs> But I think it looks fantastic. It looks fantastic. I think they're gorgeous. I love them. And then I was thinking about what to put in the middle. And I decided to go with Free Palestine because I decided that that was more hopeful. That's fantastic. And I got this. And I can't see really. You're young. You've yep. got glasses. I love this font. I got it from my book of like... Oh. I don't I can't remember what the book is called. Yeah. It was the, the one with all the different motifs and symbols yeah. by... I want, Someone I can't I want to say that. Betty, but that's just no, it's silly. Not. Anyway, it's only this thin. The cover is colour, but when you open it, it's all black and white. It's fantastic. But what I love about the font is that you it's only the vertical line. Where is it? Here. It's only the vertical line that's cross stitch and everything else is just sticks. Nice. Like love a back it. stitch. I love it. Although, Martin the idiot, who is older than me and clearly can see worse than I can, he was like <laughs> Catherine, it looks like it says free Pupistine. Pupistine. No, it doesn't. And I was like, no, it doesn't. You just can't see. Go and get your glasses. Anyway, I couldn't argue with him. I just sent him away. It's gorgeous. I love it. And you've scented it so nicely. I did count for that. Wow. I know. But I didn't count for the free Palestine. I just decided that this bit was central and I yep. just placed it. Beautiful. Dun -dun. I'm so great. You are great. It's fabulous. So I always keep saying I'm great and modest. Gosh, you're here. you're thundering through this one. I'm thundering slowly. I thought the top would be finished. <laughs> <laughs> and I've now promised Donahida I'm going to do. She's got a, a 
Day of the Dead thing that is fantastic and I want to make it as a cushion. Mm -hmm. So I'm not buying it until I'm ready to start it because I'm sick and tired of having too many projects. Yeah. Which I'm, I keep starting. I keep starting new projects even though I've said that I won't. Oh, you know how it is. You get really inspired. You do. And yes, you get very enthusiastic. Yes. So that's one that I'm very happy with. And that's Consider the Lilies uh, by Beth Twist. What's her company called? Anyway, you all know Beth Twist. She's fab. Oh, I can't remember. Yeah, never mind. Um, so I've got a new start because I got excited. Oh, okay. I think you've already you've already know about this one. So end of last year. You're in a group for this. It's not you and didn't I, get excited. You, I mean, you got excited last year, but yeah, yeah, you yeah. just had to. It was yeah. starting. So the Twisted Stitcher group are doing, um, mm, crafts. Or I can't remember what the hell it is. Oh, where is it? She 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 put the memory little um, flag to remember clearly because we're a professional yeah. floss tube. Yeah, I am very profesh. Um, here we go. Uh, oh, the yeah, mermaid. No, the 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 mouse. The mouse. The mouse and the teacup with the teddy bear. So we have started that. I haven't got particularly That's far. That's only that you went out another night in the week. Yeah, I did. Oh my lordy, Victoria. I don't know how you cope. Yeah, my social all the social batteries are quite low. It's, I think it's because you're you're like more mm. than ten years younger than me. That's what it is. And I've just started stitching it, so it's weird. This is the first time. Well, not weird. The first time I've used this. Um, it's a fusible isn't it? Yeah. So I printed the pattern on this fusible paper. Then you peel it off and you stick it to the felt and you. Could you do Stitch it at it? work, or do you have to go to specialist printing? Uh, you could do it at work. Hint, hint, okay. no, it's not at work. Yeah. Um, because sometimes they do say it has to be inkjet. Like, we don't have yeah. inkjet. We haven't had inkjet in forever. Possibly it was supposed to be an inkjet one, but I just put it in the bypass tray at work and did it in the weekend. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Which worries me, because it means you were at work. Sad. Specifically to print. Okay, <laughs> Specifically to use the facilities. <laughs> And then once it's stitched, you put it in water and I think it dissolves off. So nice. watch this space. And I always worried about those because I was like, what is this? What is dissolving? It's actually cornstarch, apparently. Ah. So quite green, I believe. Yeah, so it's, I mean, it's, I thought it, it's printed nicely on the two sheets. You get given the sheets or did you go and buy them? I bought the sheets. Oh. I wonder if they have um, the ingredients. Because that's what I read. Because I was always in two minds about these products. But I did read that it was cornstarch. Oh, that's cool. Or some such. So that's um, that's 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 underway. But that will just be worked on on these once a month Tuesday club things. So. Okay. I, have, um, I wasn't going to show this one. But, you know, let's take any opportunity to talk about Palestine and the fact that the genocide has to end. Um, so this is my bunting project with Fiona. And my prompt this year, well, this month was, I, I think the months are running to six weeks now. Um, mostly my fault now, because she has finished her project. Um, she's called Little Red Hoop. She posted it this morning. I Ooh, saw. Ooh, let's take it's it finished. out. finished. She literally, um, she literally, and, and it's all hand stitched. She, she said, oh, I'll, I'll, I'll start, um, I think Monday. She said, I'll, I'll start it on Monday. And I was like, okay, she's now finished. <laughs> anyway. So the, the prompt was a technique from a non-English speaking country. So uh, in Palestine, they speak Arabic. So that was, I mean, they speak English, but it's not, it's not their indigenous language. So very exciting. I thought, yeah, it has to be because I was in two minds. I was like, do I use Japanese? Do I use Indian? Because, you know, I love all these cultures. Um, but I thought, no, we need to talk about Palestine. And this is, this would have been a chest piece for a dress, for a phobe. I think it's so beautiful. It's beautiful. So a couple of things about it. So this is the back. I'm quite neat for me. Yeah. They do go on about neatness. Um, apart from, and now these are annoying me. I went across a couple of times and then I stopped. And I wish I hadn't gone across. Yeah. But I'll just get over myself. Um, so I'm using waste canvas. I love using waste canvas. It's cool, eh? It is so much fun. I'm a little bit addicted. I don't like that word. Um, it's very compelling, so I am going to. So I'm now at the point where I can cut off this. I've, I've finished all this. I still have to finish all the blanks here, and then there's another piece here. So this is not bunting that will be finished this weekend. 
But it sort of goes fast. Yeah. Um, you use pearl cotton. That's what, that's what they traditionally like to use. Although I was listening to Tatrice and T today and they were talking about one of them uses um, floss. Because that's what she likes. She says, and it's after all, you know, I'm Palestinian. This is my hobby. I can use floss if I want to. It doesn't mm -hmm. have to be the pearl. Um, and also, I spare a thought for me. I've been up since 4.30 with my embroidery class from in, Indian Embroidery. And, uh, of course, I'm a naughty child in the class. I, I refuse to use a hoop because we're, we're told, oh, you get your hoop out. And I was like, no, I'm not doing that. Um, and I asked her, and, I, and um, so for clarity, I, oh, no, I, I, did, I did remember. For clarity, she asks us to use this pearl cotton just because it was a bit thicker. Um, and so I was saying to her, did people use a hoop? And she says, mostly they didn't, and she had some photos, which was cool. Um, but then I asked her about, did they use something like pearl cotton then? And she was like, no, women in the past in India would use whatever they had. So sewing thread or, you know, whatever. <laughs> it's not like you didn't wait to go and buy the other thing. So anyway, that was fun. I don't know why I went off on one. Why, why, why did that happen? Um, you were talking about not using a hoop. No, why were you... <laughs> So, I don't know, we were talking about pearl. waste canvas and pearl cotton. Yeah, so pearl cotton, it goes fast. We, so we use pearl cotton, um, and I got some of the... So I got this burgundy... No, did you say maroon? What would yes. you say that? So the maroon one I did get from Stitch Witches, but it's actually the thickest one, mm -hmm. and it's too thick. So then I, then I was oh, like... Pearl uh, 8 or pearl 12? I can't remember which one's thicker. But yeah, the this... The bigger the number, the thinner it is. That, that sounds about So right. I think maybe it's five. Mm. So I think it was the five. So now I'm on eights. Because yep. eights is what they recommend. And that's where you see all the photos of people doing it. But it kind of goes fast because it's pearl. It kind of feels like... And this is what... Mm. So traditionally, 14, would they have 14, used waste canvas or an equivalent yeah, of? That's yeah, so cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, so I've decided that this is like a technique that I absolutely love. So I'm now obsessed with this idea that I'm just going to like yeah. waste canvas my way out. around my house. It's so much fun pulling it out, but it I'll makes a see, mess. I'll see about it because um, I'm not that patient. So we'll see. It doesn't take long. Anyway, I think what I've seen them do is that they, they start as soon as they can. They don't wait until the whole Children piece is done. finished. Yeah. That just traps it more, I think. So yeah. anyway, we'll see. I'm loving it. So this is the front. Which you can't see as clearly, so you can see the design a bit more on the back. Oh, so cool. I can't I love wait it. to see it. So I want to make myself not a thobe, because I'm never going to wear a thobe here, but um, from the hips up a thobe, like a blouse. Cool. But it's the same, the same look, sort of. And the details that you would have on the hems, I want to put them at hip level. So very exciting. <gasps> can't wait to see I'm it. I'm all about the Palestinian embroidery at the moment. It's so much fun. So my Palestinian friend gave me the... Um, so I just love this so much. I really enjoy it. It's become my, I'm so tired, I can't do anything, but I can do this. So It's fabulous. Yeah. So yay. We shall see. But yeah, I'm going to be another week late. Because um, life. Um, I think, yeah, I'm knitting a little bit, but... Um, oh, I forgot to. I haven't, I haven't blocked my blanket yet, because life takes over. So... Yeah. I think, I think that's all my whips. What, have you got any whips? Yeah, I've got two more. Okay, great. Yay. So, I haven't got the, the actual picture, but you all know I'm doing the crown that you laugh at every time. <laughs> it's hilarious. So, I finished the the back stitching around all the pieces. This is what, on the on the On this one cotton, sheet. On yeah. this one sheet. This is what I did when I was watching my friend do the puzzle race. Great. So, that's done. And what else have I been doing? So, uh, as I said before, I have started on the main panels for the Marie Talbot because I've now finished the samples. So, the main panels. Just get photos of what they look like. It's very organised. Okay. So, these are the two front door panels on what they will eventually look like. Are you doing it in tandem? Yes, you do. Oh, um, yes, I'm doing them in tandem so that I can get... Not lose the will to live. Yeah. And, the, you know, so that my stitches that I do for the trees look more or less the same because you sort of do them at the same time. Okay. And 
you know, you keep your tension and you, it's not three months later when I've forgotten how to do the stitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, I have done the bird on the one of the panels. So we do the animals first and then I'm going to get the fabric and you stretch it over stretcher, bra stretcher bars to do the rest. Uh -huh. But it's easier to do the animals in a small hoop because you can get your fingers on them and push and pull and do all sorts of things on it. The bird's done. It's how long? Cute. How long do you think that would take you? I don't know. I reckon I can get them done in time. No, no, no. I mean, no. I mean, like that bird. How long did it take oh. you? Last weekend and a couple of evenings, but not full time stitching. Maybe ten hours. And I like my sampler bird better. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You will love it by the time you're done. Yes. And I, just before you came, I have started doing the um, chain stitch around the bunny to get the bunny started. Did it, did it come pre-printed? Yes. Oh. Yep. Um, now and I've, that's all my whips. Okay, there's, I, I wanted to show you something because I have discovered a stitch that I love. And I'm Ooh. like, how can I incorporate this into my life? So this was from my class today. So it's the Banjara people. And I knew most of the stitches that we, we I knew all the stitches she showed us. Mm -hmm. um, and I recognize the names of the others, but I have never done interlocking stitch. Have you done it? I want to show you so you can tell me. Ooh. And I can't actually see because I didn't have my glasses, but look how I actually prefer it in one color. Can you see how they interlock there? I can indeed. I don't think I have done that. It is so pretty and it's so beautiful. much fun to do. Interlocking stitch. I don't know if you've done it. You could almost do it like down the like you know you oh, not you know to um, join two pieces to join two pieces yeah. or down the seam. Yeah. It kind of has a. I, I actually didn't like it in two colors when we incorporated another color, but when it was alone, I was like, ah, oh, that it's almost like a lace look. Yeah, yeah. Or Very you could pretty. do it in um, two shades of the same color or something. But I just thought it's it so was pretty. it was such a fun embroidery stitch, and really simple. It looks complicated, but it actually is not. So anyway, I was excited about that. Yeah. Um, showing off my subtle Indian bag that I bought in India. It's beautiful. Oh, shall I wear this to the, to the potluck? Yes, you no, should. No, yes, you should. <laughs> Did you tell them who you're meeting there? Do you want to? I'm uh, meeting my current. Uh, it's, it's at my current boss's house, and I'm meeting my future boss, who's never met you before. You should totally take it. Yeah, he's never met me before, so I'm, or I'm she? like, that was it's very. A, no, it's he. Um. He's married to a librarian. He's got to be a good nice. sort. Nice, he'll be a good sort. Um, yeah, you know, I'm just presenting, like, what he's getting. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I'm like. But, you know, sometimes you think, oh, the people will be like, oh. But, you know, people are cool. Yeah, people are cool. Yeah. Um, I have some gifts Ooh, that stitchy. I want to show because I'm very excited. And Excellent. Oh, no, I have got another whip. Gosh, I've got oh. such a... I'm such a ditz. Okay, so I went to the op shop and I bought a bed sheet because it was it was O week, so yeah. togas. Toga week, yeah, they yeah. get all the white so sheets out. I bought two really good quality cotton sheets because um, all the others that I have are either in flight as another project or Martin has squirreled them away for the house. So anyway, I am starting the this project, which is called the Afshan Sampler. I love it. Ooh. So this is by Marumi Crafts, Mariam. And I love her floss tube. And I like her because she's a good sort. Um, she's doing a lot of fundraising and campaigning for Palestine. She's a LGBTQI plus um, advocate. She's Iranian. All the good things. Um, so so my, my thinking is bed sheet, right? And it's not going to be perfect, but I don't care. Um, so this is my bed sheet. And because I was, I was thinking Eastern European vibes with the red work. Mm -hmm. Martin will not be happy if I have red work bed sheets. Okay. Because his football team, a.k.a. soccer, is blue. Right, but they're arch enemies, which now he pretends they're not arch enemies, but they're red. 
So he wouldn't, he doesn't like it if I buy red shirts in the op shops. He's like, I'm not going to wear that. Wow. I know, it's silly. I only found out recently when I had like a stack of reds. <laughs> um, so I am not unpicking the, the sheet to like make it perfect. I'm just taking the sheet as it is. And I've got my waist canvas because I've decided I love this. Um, and, oh God, I hope I, I haven't forgotten. So I'm not doing the whole sampler. But I am. Um, oh, what did I decide to do? I, I decided that I was going to do from this from this part down. Cool. On this side, so on this side, and then I would flip it. Don't know how. For this side, and then, you know, just keep adding sections. That's so needed. cool. And this is this is as much embroidery as I'm going to do for the bed sheet. It's just this ten. I don't know how it's. It's not quite twenty centimeters. Maybe 15. No, we don't, no, we're not going to measure Victoria. You sure? I've got a ruler no, just I over there. See <laughs> no. Do you can see like my I brain ticking. Oh, I've got a ruler. Um, so, yeah. So, this is um, this is like a, a, a carpet sampler for people that are learning to make carpets. Um, and you can also go to your carpet maker and say, oh, I, I want this motif and I want that thing and I want this thing. So, I think this is the Afshan flower. So, anyway... Or maybe Afshan is flower. Something like that. That's so cool. And it was given to me as a gift. Um, oh, that so is so Marion kind. was super lovely. Because remember when I did that workshop? It wasn't a workshop. I did a talk where I talked about my natural dyes. She came to that talk. And then she gave me this as a lovely gift. Which was very kind. Even though I certainly did not ask for it. But it was very generous of her. Um, so yay. I'm very excited. So I'm doing blue because Martin Sheffield Wednesday blue. Beautiful. Yeah. It's going to look gorgeous. It is mm. going to look gorgeous. And I'm also going to do the pillowcases. So I've, I've got my, my other bed sheet and I'm going to make pillowcases from that because I do want them to not look like... Because you're going to see the stitching on the other side yes. and really shouldn't. Yep. But So the pillowcases are going to be made from scratch from that other bed sheet that I have, which cost me a dollar. Yay. Mm. And it's a proper vintage cotton. It's lovely. Beautiful. Yeah. So, and now I can't fold it properly, but never mind. So I'm excited about that. So in, in six years' time, I will see you. With your beautiful embroidered sheets. Yeah. Oh, actually, Victoria, have you heard of the... Um, oh, what's it called? Uh, leap year start. Yes, a lot of people doing massive projects. Are you doing to do it? No, because I figured I had enough massive projects underway. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I have seen some people doing some amazing things. Yeah, I haven't seen anyone on Instagram because really my, my whole Instagram is now Palestine, but... I did hear about it, and I thought, ooh, Victoria, who really needs very little excuse to start a new thing. <laughs> um, have you got any purchases to show or gifties? I have got some of all of the above. Okay, so I'll start with this. So you know how I said that I wasn't going to start anything new? Yeah. And then I was watching um, Spectrum Stitcher, who I love. Um... She's only posting sporadically now. Mind you, so are we. No, we're not. Just because we were late one week. Like no. Two weeks in a row. <laughs> but also, we don't have little children, so it's okay. Yeah. Like, I'm not criticising, I'm just saying it's sad. Um, anyway, she's fab. And she did one and selfishly showed off this one. <laughs> I was like, I don't want to buy any more things. I don't want to buy anything. <laughs> but I always comment. When I watch things, I comment. Um, so I was like, that is so beautiful. I am so tempted, but I'm going to be good. Um, and so she sent it to me by post. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, it is so kind. It's very kind, but it's also it beautiful. Is gorgeous. It's it is called stunning. Bloom Wildly by the Schoolhouse Samplers. 1897 Schoolhouse. It is so pretty. I'm going to have to start it. You are I really going to have to start it. Start. It would be beautiful on a pocket. On, on waist a canvas. Yeah, you could stitch it on a top or... Beautiful. I know. Waste canvas, I feel, has just opened your whole new horizon for you. Like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. And so I would have initially thought you'd have poo-pooed it. I was like, I'll just make it up. Yes, but the, see, okay, so I posted this on Instagram mm -hmm. and Mariam liked it. So <laughs> what I love about waste canvas, what's the name of that designer that I really like? Okay. No, no, Dark. no, no, no. She's a cross-stitch designer. Oh, Beth Twist? No. No, no. She does like... Um, she, she does like prim. Stacey Nash. Stacey Nash. 
I love Stacey Nash's work. She, she sells a line of things that are not counted cross stitch. Mm -hmm. But it's actually an, it, it, it actually takes a lot of effort to make things look wonky but not shitty. Yes. Um, with with um, waste canvas, it feels to me, like I said on Instagram, it's cross stitch, it's counted, but every stitch has its own personality. Yes, yes. So I love it so much. So that's why it's cool. I like it's it. It's so cool. Whilst I've done, I've done un uncounted cross stitch, and it's just like it takes so much effort to place them yes. just wonkily yes. so. Yeah. So anyway, and I really want to buy some Stacey Nash, and I don't want to save me from myself. Oh no, I'm an enabler. I'm not the right. I'm not the right person to be asking. Oh. I'm trying to save for retirement. Boring. Tell me what Stacey Nash ones you want, and then no, <laughs> <laughs> bad human. Now it's okay. I don't have to have everything I want. It's fine. Isn't this gorgeous? It's a beautiful card. So she sent me a lovely card. People are. I am not a thoughtful card giver. I'm really bad with cards because quite often I'm like I'm not paying four fifty for a card. Oh no! See, I have a range of cards now in my. Um, oh, when you're writing slope, in my writing slope that I have at home, but um, I always feel like there's not enough time. I'm like. In a rush. Anyway, she wrote me a lovely card. But what I loved about this is that I think she must have bought it in Britain when she was in England, Cambridge. She was very clever. Nice. Um, but what I love about it is that the, the flower is from this side of the world. This is a warata. So wa true. waratas are from Australia. So that <laughs> felt so lovely because it's such an oldie worldy. You know, it's a watercolor, and you know I did my watercolor course. Beautiful. I thought that was very beautiful. So anyway, so that so anyway, <laughs> go on. Twenty minutes on one thing. Um, so she sent me that, but then she also sent me this. Okay, things I love about this are the gate. I'm going to do the gate on something. I don't yeah. think I'll do the whole thing, but I'm going to do the gate. The other thing is, you know how I refuse to do the butterflies in my yes. sampler? I'm going to put strawberries because they represent Gaza now. Beautiful. I need to find a watermelon because where I've got gaps because I didn't measure or I've, I've not liked, like horses. I'm yeah. not going to put a horse on. Sorry. Um, so strawberries. So I've got a different, different styles of strawberries I can add. That's so cool. And there's elements that I like here. I just, I'm just not a fan of the brick wall. What is wrong with this brick wall? The colours. Terrible rendering. No, because it's kind of stone. Um, I don't like the rendering. It's not rendering. I don't like, is it the rendering? The middle bit, the cement. The mortar. I don't, yeah, I don't like it. Yes. No, it's the pointing. That's what we call it in England. It's the pointing that I don't like. Like the pointing anyway, on the cross. So next time, you, <laughs> next time you see me, I might, I might have started this because you know, I'm being enabled, right? You, you do something. So I got some. So oh. our good friend Zach from the um, Dodine Public Library picked me up two more Inspirations magazines. She's Isn't so she good. Great? Thank you. It's so good. She just sends me a message and then I go oh, over in my lunch time. Baby on the back. There's a cute baby on the back. So these are great. This is an early one. I think I've got issue eleven and issue forty. So I, I'm actually getting. I am expecting one project from each magazine. I have, yes. I um, have thought about this. I'm going to go through with post-it notes and put post-its in the ones I want and take photos so I don't forget about them. Yeah, because I went into my studio the other day for something and I, rem I remember those, remember those um, beautiful French books that my sister got me for cross -stitch. Yes. And I desperately wanted to make something like yes. that I forgot. Yeah. I remembered again because I saw them. So, same, anyway. same diff. Thank you so much, Zach. Love it. She's off to the, um, the Christchurch Stitch Stitching Retreat, which oh. we are not going to this year because it's my birthday weekend. But, you know how I don't really like to copy things that, yeah, big generalization. You know, Americans have a way of doing things that I'm like, nah, that's excessive. But I love this idea of my birthday month. <laughs> <laughs> like, pile all the trees. I'm pretty good. Oh, you can usually make it last about a week. Yeah. Go out for at least three meals. That'd be great. Oh, see, I'm no good at. I'm not good at celebrating myself. Oh. I can celebrate my girls. I'm just, nah. I just, I'm missing a chip. You can encourage me to be better this year. I will. I will. You remind you make, me when it's you. You make me go to Mexico. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be your enabler. So Catherine, you yes, deserve you it. You have to go to Mexico for your birthday month and do a course. <laughs> you deserve it. Thank you. Maybe that'll work from next year because I have to <laughs> save. Um, okay, so what else do I have? Have I shown you this? This massive tome arrived. I don't know if I've shown it to you. I think you did, but the show us again. I talked about it for sure. But yeah. It's the Encyclopedia of Embroidery from the Arab world. I'm very excited about this. Excited. But I kind of also feel like I have to return it soon. I, 
I read the To Trees and Tea book and that's gone back to the library. So and this is the university library, so you have to be, well, you can be anyone, but borrow it. It has to be university staff or student, but you could sit in the library and read it. It was good. It was worth it. I learned a lot. Um, oh, I love these things. I think what I really love about Palestinian embroidery is that it's very geometrical. Was it very geometric? Geometric. Um, yeah, and I think I really love that there's a sense of order that yeah. pleases me. Even, yeah. So. It's gorgeous. I love so it. very good. Cover, cover. Um, and then I, <laughs> I'm on a bit of a ordering Palestinian books from the library. Um, this one arrived. So this is a newest, newer publication. Ooh. It's called Thobna. And Thobna means our dress, apparently, in Arab. And it's by Wafa Ghanaim. I'm, I can't, I'm not quite sure about her name but her first name is Wafa so she's quite famous she has the account to choose and tea on Instagram I've, I've watched a lot of her interviews oh this is cool now this is oh no this is a funeral um, it's really cool because I was when I was doing my video with my friend it's just really cool to see some of the things that she showed that I saw in live and they're here That's it's so like cool. oh this is a really famous pattern that they use so anyway, I'm excited about this. I've read a little bit at the beginning, um, but I haven't got very far. But yay for University Library ordering it. That's excellent. Yeah, so this is a self-published um, thing. Um, she's kind of, she's decided to go down that route. Oh, and that was the other thing. She talks about, in one of her interviews, she talks about, she's really privileged because, because of this job that she's created for herself and because she now works with institutions she actually has access to the insides of dresses. Like in a library, oh. in, a, in a museum, we don't get to see the inside no, of things. We get you're, to see you're this far back from what it, yeah. And it's usually glass. Yeah. She gets to see the inside. So she actually, the, the cover is a photo of the inside. That's so cool. So you can see if they've got knots, I can see a knot. Um, yeah, it's really cool. That's so, so cool. Yeah, so if you don't know about this account, to trees and tea. There's, there's quite a few to trees accounts now, which is fabulous. I didn't lose my thread. Oh, and also, I just wanted to say, you probably do this. The Fringe Festival's coming. Ooh. So. Yes, who's coming to the Fringe Festival that I thought I'm I haven't read it to. yet. I, I, I'm just going to give it to Martin. He can read it and choose what we're going to do because life admin is not my strong point. I think there were two comics coming that I thought might be entertaining. Oh, God. I do admire you. I, was, I got distracted on Instagram this afternoon watching a comedian, an mm -hmm. Irish comedian that lives in... Um, New York now, I think, maybe Los Angeles, I don't know, somewhere in America, anyway. And she picks on the audience. I was like, that is my idea of hell. Yeah, this I, don't, is I why... don't go to ones who are great with audience interaction. I'm yeah, nice. I was like, never risk it, yeah. never. So this is why I would never go to um, a comedian. Because they would get wind of the fact that I'm terrified. <laughs> and they'd be, they'd be like, able to pick you out in the yeah, crowd. Yeah, and they'd be like, I never do this, but I've heard about this woman. <laughs> <laughs> No, but maybe there'll be some um, contemporary dance. I'd yeah. Like to see that. So anyway, what else have you got left? So two, two shopping things. So I was in Stitch Witches and I bought, so you might recall I bought the red and the blue pairs at the end of last year. So these I ones recall are that, but you haven't made any. No, but I bought the stuff. <laughs> oh, did you? Did you buy the threads? And yeah, yeah, I've got oh, it all ready to go. I've ch chose my threads. and. I think we have to do a just as retreat, just the yes. two of us, and we'll spend all day. Just stitching. <gasps> that would be, oh, that well, would be nice. Spend all day, then go down for a halloumi burger, then come back and stitch some more. I did actually let's think, plan it. yes, let's, let's do plan it. it. Let's plan it. Okay. We haven't done a proper good, you know, come in the morning. Uh, anyway. Yeah. Blah, blah. That's the orange pears. I think they're gorgeous. Anjou. Isn't Anjou, wasn't there a battle there? Anjou. I don't know. I'm not French. And I certainly don't speak French, but it rings a bell from watching like, um, not Elizabeth, but the, the second wife of King Henry VIII. Oh, it wasn't Jane, was it? Catherine. Catherine was divorced. Yeah. The beheaded one. Oh, I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of you possibly already have these in your collections. So the Inspirations have uh, published... Uh, who's the author? Is it a compilation? Because sometimes they oh, have that. Nicola Jarvis. Oh. Life and Seasons Volume 1, Spring, Winter and Spring, which makes me very excited for Summer and Autumn. Oh, I thought it would be four. Oh, the, yeah, well, I would hope there'd be four, but no, there's only two. two. 
This does look this like up your street, actually. Is the one I want to do. The duck is my favorite. The book. I thought you like the badger. The badger is gorgeous, but I like the duck better. So there are, I think, maybe half a dozen different projects in here. I like that. Oh my god, whilst you're looking for them, I want to make my family tree and embroidery. Oh! I know. That's awesome. So this is the badger who is beautiful. I think that's you though. I reckon the badger? I don't know, the mellow duck just... There's a, there's a photo of them. Just because this is crawl work, I believe. Ah, uh, okay. And... Oh, the fox is pretty. Fox. I know someone that's named their baby fox. Fox is a cool name. I know. It's for Fox Mulder from X-Files. <laughs> Who do you know who's going to name their baby fox? Who's that called? Well, I'm not going to say it on, on telly, am I? True. <laughs> <laughs> but it is very fox. cool. But now that I know that a TV character has named their child, or they were named Fox, I think, oh, was this about the animal? Or was it this about telly? Oh, it could be anything. This one, the hair, I know is a lot of people's favourites. because That looks like a donkey. Oh, I love the picture. Where's the picture? Oh. Maybe that is the picture. Beautiful. Hairs are, are having a moment, though. Yeah. Worcestershire hair, I think. Worcestershire. Worcestershire. And sorry, I'm showing all of these. Yeah, sorry, I'm and every time my nose almost kind of gets taken out. A duck. I do like a duck. I hate birds. Oh, I don't hate birds. Birds terrify me. And feeding the ducks as a child was... Oh, it was terrifying, yes, because I, used, I got like attacked by swans and things. If I didn't get attacked, I got chased. But I do love a I do love a picture. I love a picture of a bird. <laughs> oh yeah, I do like a picture of a bird. But uh, the moth. Okay, the so patience required. Hmm. I like the greenery. I'm not so bothered about the moth. See, I'm not really into animal embroidery. Beautiful. I don't think you should just say. I think. Oh, sorry. I think you should say at the end of that yet because how many things have we not been into or thought wasn't cool and then all of a sudden they're the be all and end yeah, but all then it about passes. But, but no what i was going to finish saying is like but it's definitely having a moment yes yeah mm. some pretty birds anyway also, this book birds is beautiful are not animals they're a separate category and i do love <laughs> bird embroidery <laughs> oh and there's some butterflies and things at the back is there a picture of all of the not really Oh. <laughs> yeah. Those are all the projects. Anyway, beautiful book. I'm gonna do the duck. Very good. You get it started then. With all my other five other pro five thousand other projects. Yes, that's yeah. right. Okay, so Oh, we have got stitchy kindness. It's on it's on your side. I dealt I dealt with it. I, I gave it to you. We did. So we received a Christmas gift from Margarita. Margarita, thank you. <laughs> that was embarrassing. It's beautiful. I love the card. It was very actually. lovely, and it had two little panettone, and I even managed to save one to share with Martin. Oh, it's I good. ate one all on my own. I was like, I'm having, it. I'm having it. And she sent me. I didn't bring it because you know treasure, but a little uh, nativity set from Peru, and I hadn't seen these. The cover is blue. Oh, beautiful. Very beautiful. And I was like, this clearly is for me. I'm keeping it. Amen. I did message her and say. Is, is that okay? Does that work? So I wasn't like completely feral. Just mostly feral. I got some stickers. And I intuitively knew these were for you. Yeah, these are for my buck. They are so cool. I love the unicorns. Are these the unicorns? Yes, that's the unicorns. And a beautiful frame. Which I think for finished one projects. of my houses will go into. Oh, cool. Very good. Because I've got a couple of finished houses that haven't got frames in them yet. So thank you very much, Margarita. Very lovely, thank you. Very kind of you. You know, you don't have to keep sending us things. No, it's very no. lovely when they arrive. It's always a surprise. Actually, this one arrived quite quickly, as opposed Ooh. to like the three months that it usually takes. Did you have anything else you want to show? <laughs> no, I had. I showed my stitchy kindness that I received. What about this stuff? Oh no, this is because I'm keeping it together. That was the. Ah. Um, that's part of my bow chest piece. It's, it's my pattern. Okay, please. Also, maybe I should say, Folk Glory on Instagram is where I got those patterns to stitch my faux chest piece. Um, and I just got the freebies, but I made a donation to another organisation. So. Nice. 
I actually don't know how much the postage will be. In my head, it's like, it's coming from all the way. It's going to be really expensive. But the kits are so beautiful. Like, if you had a friend that really wanted to get into Palestinian cross-stitch or, like, international cross-stitch, they've done an amazing... They must be, that must be their profession. Like, um, graphic design or something. Yeah. Beautiful. I'll show you later. Beautiful Excellent. work. Excellent. Anyway, so that's it. I'm going to make Victoria um, be available. I'm going to... No, Victoria. No social life apart from with me. I have been bad. I have been so bad recently. I have barely had a night at home. Although, lies. Because Victoria cancels. Although I'm sad. I'm like, oh, God, I get to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> it was right. a guild meeting this week. And that only... Yeah, it's annoying. Because in the summer, the guild meetings are on a Thursday one month. And so it will yeah. crash. We'll have a little sort out. Yeah. Um, I work from home two days a week now, which makes things a little bit more difficult as well. Mm. Anyway, this was lovely. It was good to catch Thanks. up with you. It's exactly an hour, and let's finish off before it goes to two, one hour and one minute. Okay. So okay. have a lovely week. Do lots of stitching. Free Palestine. Kaki Kaki day. Day.